Hey guys, how's it going? Fred here at Math and Engineering. We're going to do a question on related rates. This is probably one of the trickiest subjects and the, one of the subjects that people have the most problems with in Calculus 1. So we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, going through the question and then we're going to solve it step by step. And uh, I'm just going to start by reading the question and then we'll talk about it, okay? So we have a water tank, which is an inverted cone with a radius of 2 meters and height of 4 meters, okay? Uh, if, the wa if water is being pumped in to this cone at a rate of 2 meters cubed per minute, find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is 3 meters deep. So right when you see this kind of question in this, and, and you start Calculus 1, you think, oh man, like this looks so complicated, right? We're not just solving problems now, now we're actually using our knowledge of calculus and our knowledge of, uh, you know, rates of change and, uh, you know, measuring the, how things change over time, which is what calculus is. And we're, we're applying that to an actual scenario in real life. So actually it's, a, it's kind of cool and interesting in a way. How do we solve these types of questions? Well, first of all, don't panic. You know, there's a lot of different variables, but the, the best thing to do is to kind of understand what it is that we're looking for. So that's what we're going to initially identify. What are we looking for? Let's read the question at the end again. If water is being pumped in at a rate of two meters cubed per second, find the rate at which the water level is rising, okay? when the water is three meters deep. So we're looking right here, find the rate at which the water level is rising, okay? So we want to find the, how the height of the water, the height of the water, the vertical height is changing with respect to time, okay? So how we write that in terms of calculus or in terms of derivatives would be dh by dt. Okay, so the derivative of h with respect to t, how the height of the, the water level is rising with respect to time. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking for. So now that we've identified that, okay, let's see what we're given, all right? And what we're given in this question is we're given the rate of two meters cubed per second, all right? And the rate of two meters cubed per second is the rate at which the water is being pumped in to the cone, okay? So the volume, okay, with respect to time, okay? So the volume of the water, okay, is, is changing with respect to time, okay? And that, we're going to call that dv by dt, all right? And dv by dt is two meters cubed per minute. That's given to us, all right? So in these questions, you'll see that a similar theme is that you want to eliminate a, uh, a variable. And usually the variable that you're going to want to eliminate is r, the radius of this, okay? And I'll, I'll just get to that in one second. But in these questions for related rates as well, you're going to need to know the equations uh, for the volumes of simple shapes, okay? So here we have a cone. You're gonna need to know the volume of a cone, okay? You're gonna need to know the volume of a cylinder, okay, uh, a sphere, a cube, right? Okay, so, so know all of the basic ones because if you don't know that, you can't even start these questions and chances are they're not going to give this to you on your midterm. So, or the final. So with that being said, memorize those, make sure you know them, let's continue. So the volume of a, of a cone, okay, is one over three pi r squared times h, okay? So volume is equal to one over three pi r squared times h, that's the volume for a cone. All right, so the next part is, is a little bit tricky and it's not very intuitive. You wouldn't really think to do this, but just, just memorize it, okay? It is in questions like this, what we have is you'll see we, we have two similar triangles here, okay? And this is gonna help us solve our problem because we're gonna eliminate a variable, is we're going to find the relationship between this triangle here and this big triangle here, okay? Because we're given the radius uh, of, the, of the cone, of the entire cone of two meters, and we're given the entire height. Okay, so what we have is we have two similar triangles like this, okay? This one's R, this one's H, this one is two, and this whole side here is four. Okay, so if we remember from similar triangles back in high school, we can create an expression here, okay? And we can say that R over H, okay, is equal to two over four. And if we solve for R here, we should end up with R equals h over 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that in to this formula here and what you'll see is that 
we get rid of this R, all right, so that we're only left with H on the right side, and that's what we want. We want to make the equation more simple to solve. So let's go ahead and let's plug that in, all right? We're plugging that in here, and we should be left with V equals one over three pi H over two squared times H, okay? And if we go ahead and simplify that, we should have the expression pi over 12 H cubed. And that's what we're going to work with, okay? And as you can see, that's a lot more simple, right? We're only left with one variable on the right. That's exactly what we want to do. And now let's start to actually solve the rates, okay? Let's, let's start to, to find the rates. And if we're familiar with kind of the definition of what a derivative is, we know that if we take the derivative of V with respect to time, okay? We're, we're finding how the volume is changing with respect to time. So let's go ahead and take that, okay? And we'll take the derivative of this. So we're going to take the derivative of the volume with respect to time. So we're differentiating this. And that is going to be equal to, so we're just, we're taking this three, all right? We're, we're bringing it over to the front and then we're subtracting one from the three. So we have three H squared over 12. Okay, so that's gonna cancel. That's, this is gonna become one over four. And since we're implicitly differentiating here, okay, because we're taking V with respect to T, okay? So when we take H with respect to T, we are going to implicitly differentiate if you wanna take a look at the previous videos. Okay, so we have to add our DH by DT in here, okay? So don't forget that, that's important. All right, and as you'll see, because we implicitly differentiated, we have created the term that we're looking for dh by dt, if you remember at the start of the video, we discussed that's exactly what we want to find. We want to find the rate as the, of the height and how it's changing with respect to time. Okay, so in order to solve this now, we need to just isolate for dh by dt, okay? So let's go ahead and isolate for that. So I'm just gonna come down here and let's go ahead and bring this whole term to the other side of the equation, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead and flip it. So we have dA, v by dt. Okay, all right, that's good. And now we have come up with an expression here, all right, that, that equals dh by dt, which equals how the height changes with respect to time, which is what the question asked. And the question also asked us to find it when the water is three meters deep. And that is our h variable here. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug in h, and what we get out of this, we're also gonna plug in dv by dt, which we are given in the question, and that is gonna give us, okay, the rate at which the water level is rising, okay, at when, when the water is three meters deep. So let's go ahead and plug in three here, and plug in our two meters cube per current. Okay. And if we go ahead and, you know, we work that out, we simplify it, we should get that dh by dt is equal to 8 over 9 pi. All right, and if you go ahead and, and this, this would be absolutely fine to, to leave it in that form on the exam because obviously in calculus you don't have a calculator. But if you want to go ahead and, and calculate that, the, we can say that the water is rising. at a rate of 0 0.28 meters per minute. So I hope that helped guys. I hope you kind of followed me when I explained this. I, I wanted to go slowly and I wanted to explain each step because these kind of questions, you really do need to understand what taking the derivative means, okay? Um, and you do need to also kind of like follow these uh, follow these steps here where we, where we took a similar triangle in order to eliminate a variable, and then we implicitly differentiated and created the term dh by dt, which is what we needed uh, to solve the problem. So identify what you need in the problem, identify what you're given, follow these steps, and almost all of these questions are gonna follow a very similar fashion, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, we're almost on Calc 1. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.